Yeah, you're welcome to today's show, Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO. I want you to guess who is going to be our guest for today. Let's see him. He said they must take clearance from him before they can meet. That's our pastor for you. His visions and revelations have thrown families into disorder. You imagine that. And that's exactly what we're experiencing on a daily basis. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that observed while we were praying in his house that there was a shout of a young man right from inside of his room. Are we going to continue like this? Brethren, there is fire on the mountain. Now you know him. So, like they say, let's hear from the horse's mouth. And this is beyond and today. Um, Kyle De Ujori is a child of God, a proud drama minister, a minister of the word. The husband of one, one wife and the father of three young men and by the grace of god a professional earning naira and kobo in some other ways and this is beyond today, i am a development sector worker as in the area of communications, development, communications, and I engage in working with um, development agencies in several areas in um, an area particularly called behavior change communications. And um, that, of course, is basically what I do as engagement professionally, but also by the grace of God, I have also been able to get involved with um, the issue of advocacy, advocacy uh, on several fronts, particularly in the area of um, the rights of people. To God be the glory. Minus profession, uh, behind the scenes, I, I have a family and I am a family person. I, to the glory of God, I believe that I'm a family person. So even where spiritually I, I make commitments to preaching engagements, um, um, other kind of engagements, still I recall to my family, I gain a lot of um, energy from being with my dear wife, Adenike, and um, I make a lot of um, impact when I'm with my children because we relate deeply you know, in several areas, together. And this is beyond and today, right? Yoruba ni kwe ikwa eni toba bini la ato. Let me craft that as much as I can in my limited English. You're following the footsteps of your, uh, of the person who gives back to you. That means uh, you have a model and your model follows a direction. You follow in that direction. I was brought into Christian drama by our father evangelist, Mike Bamiloe. Yeah. I don't know why they all decided to recommend you for the job. But considering your previous works on little supplies, I think you have been faithful. And probably that is the reason why. And one thing I've noticed about him is focus. He, he, he's not, he doesn't look right or left, but concentrates on the calling of God upon his life to make him part um, with men in ministry and beyond. And to the glory of God, he has done just that. And as a person, I have made remarkable um, 
progress. And I have been a man of impact before I came into Christian movie produ production. I was already doing stuff on television, national television, NTA. I was already doing stuff in the 80s on TSOS then, BCOS now. I was already doing stuff on stage. And that was before Nollywood came. I was already fairly um, um, engaged. Don't let me say popular, engaged. But you know, I came into Christ. And as soon as I came into Christ, I had an encounter with God. And God said to me, I have, you are born again. I have saved you. I have not saved your talent. Give me your talent, and at the right moment, I will give it back to you. You know, I thought that was very personal. So I, I, I devoted myself to developing myself in the Lord. I didn't do anything in stage. I dropped everything I was doing in secular drama and production. So, but, you know, the, that's not the catch. The interesting aspect of it was that God did not return my talent to me soon enough. It took 20 years. When it was exactly about 20 years, evangelist Mike Bamiloye called me, you know, and he said to me, we want you to do a production with us. And I looked and I was wondering where that came from. So I had to go to the Lord. And the Lord said, I told you at the right time, I will give it to you. Go and do it. And that's the beginning of my involvement, deep involvement in Christian drama. And the moment I knew that was what God wanted for me, there was no distraction. Distraction in the sense that I considered every other, every other thing beyond faith, not faith-based, evangelical drama. I consider everything beyond evangelical drama to me as distractions. And how would I confirm this? There have been a lot of entities. There have been a lot of interest. There have been a lot of offers coming from friends in Nollywood, coming from friends outside Christian drama. But because of what God has told me, I would rather stay with, stay where God has planted me. And this is beyond entertainment. In a spectrum, I've had different types of roles, but specifically those who are used to my roles would put me in the box of pastor. So they would, they would always say, pastor, pastor. But in a spectrum, I've had several roles within that um, long spectrum of being a pastor. But I've found um, secrets of the moment quite challenging. Secrets of the moment came up by the grace of God um, through evangelist Amoni, Gloria Bamiloye. Quickly get out. Mm -hmm. Only for him to slow me down on the way. Oh my. You see, uh, maybe we should stop allowing him to go with you every Thursday because I'm bothered. This attitude of getting late to work every Thursday is. And we can't afford to toy with your job. And this is beyond entertainment. And in producing that movie, I saw the hand of God practically at work. I was handling a project then with a development sector, uh, with a development partner, and I had to be in the north, five states of the north, and that was the time the um, movie was being shot. You know, I prayed to God and I said, I would, initially I didn't know it was going to drag for so long, but I was combining going on the road with staying on location and God helped me in you know managing both roles without showing any crack that's on one side now how the role of the the role I played in secrets of the moment happened to be a reflection of my own personal story it was as though the revelation for that role centered on my life. I knew 
specifically that God was making demands of my commitment to him, my commitment in spite of challenges and all that. But I didn't know that God was going to resolve it the same way he resolved the movie. And I purposely kept it away from you so that you would tell me to either use it for the house rent or for a school fees. I kept it for my personal spending. Is that so? Yes. The body should be enough for the house rent and the school fees. What? The body is 600000 My God! Oh, let me see. You mean it? So we will going to pay it tomorrow. Ah! <laughs> let me see. Oh, eh? You have done well. Yeah, I'm sorry to have kept it away. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, ah. Thank God for our new life. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yes. So, now tell me, <laughs> how do we do it? At the end of the day, the man got a big contract and all that. At the end of the time of my experience, God confirmed to me and through the very things that happened to me that, yes, I am working on you. You are my project. Thirdly, how was the role of, how was the role in Secrets of the Moment impactful? How was it challenging to me? It was challenging particularly because I had to combine doing the work of a husband who was challenged with jobs, with working as a family person committed to his family. I was also very much challenged with acting with the best the industry had, the, the movie industry, the Christian movie industry. I was working as I was playing the role of the husband of our mommy, Gloria Vanlui. I was also requested in the movie to work out my roles, elements of my roles myself. And so if, if in certain regard you find me dancing, it was just because I looked for a way of working out the joy that I felt. person complimented bringing out the best in me in that role is unparalleled, especially Mommy Gloria Bamiloe. Off camera, she would make jest of me. She would pull my <laughs> moustache, but she would always insist on what she want as the producer of that movie. But play, once we were on set as husband and wife, and I gauged myself with the tempo, she, the vibes she was giving on set was unparalleled. And that helped me in developing my character. So that to me is one of the most challenging, don't let me say the most challenging, one of the most challenging that I can st state for now. And this is beyond today. Now, I, I, in, in Secrets of the Moment, they were asked when we were going to start the production, when it was, when Mommy Pamela was going to give me the script, she said, I was going to sing and that she was going to give me the songs that I, was, that I would sing. Well, I thought fairly I, I would find it, uh, you know, I could sing. I thought it was okay. And then she wrote some of the songs and she gave them to me and she took me to the studio 
and we did the song, the audio aspect of it, but coming on set to do the songs, I felt challenged. <laughs> I felt a little bit challenged, but to God be the glory, she loved it. And her loving it is a reflection of post-production of how the film, uh, of the feedback from the movie, because I thought that the singing was also good in the sense that um, um, I, I was able to put the singing in myself. There was a particular song. Can I remember it now? I know the Again, shall stand. I know eternal life again, where the grace of God and it is ours. I know, I know that Jesus lives and on the earth. Again, shall stand. I know, I know. That's what it is. And this is beyond entertainment. Every aspect of my person went into that song because I expected my weeping to endure for a night but for joy in the morning. And that was what happened. It was prophetic. <laughs> No matter the kind of messages you have heard upon waiting on the Lord, waiting on the Lord defines you in the context of that waiting. Until you find a situation that you can that you come into by experience, you never know what waiting is. And as a drama minister, just wait on the Lord. Let him dictate the pace. Let him determine what you do. There are many distractions for a drama minister. There are many distractions. You've just asked me about Nollywood or rather about secular movies, and there are several others. But the only thing that keeps you going is what the Lord himself has impacted upon you, which brought you into a Christian movie. So, I guess you're right. It may indeed be very hard, but everything you have said is the truth. I am happy I have a son who can think very deep. Always recall to him. I've had moments when I've had to ask the Lord, do I take partake in this movie? And God will say, Go. And it will take me a whole lot to partake in that movie in terms of my personal uh, um, my personal contribution. I mean, you know, it, it will cost me more participating in that movie than I would get from it. But at the end of the day, I found joy in, in it because I brought light onto. The, both the producers and those who have watched it. The issue, I won't go beyond that. Just wait on the Lord. Let him determine your pace. And if you are in it for the sake of the Lord, he will lead you to your predetermined end, which is winning souls. 
making impact for the kingdom of God. Anything outside that is extra. Singing majesty, your grace has found me just as I am, empty handed but alive in your hands. We sing in majesty. Singing majesty, your love has changed. And this is beyond and today. Right? Hmm. Quite deep. Quite very deep. Well, we thank God for that wonderful 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 story until i see you again when we'll be coming with another episode of beyond entertainment show with pvo we're bringing in another guest in the meantime please make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel victor olukoju pvo and click on that bell the notification button so that you can always know when we are dropping the next episode God bless you. Modern entertainment Beyond the applause of men We seek for something valuable And that is the soul of man yeah. And that is the soul of man Men and women, so that for God. And this is beyond and today, right? And this is beyond and today, right? Beyond entertainment. Keep watching Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO.